Okay, gonna make a quick video here. I have a Whirlpool refrigerator. It has the refrigerator up top, and there's a chest freezer on the bottom. And what my um, refrigerator has started to do for about a week now, and I've own, owned this thing for about two years, what it's doing is it's causing a gurgling sound. Kind of like when you blow into a cup of water with a straw. There's air bubbles escaping through the water and it makes those popping noises that makes it kind of like a gargling. Anyway, so mine is doing that. Now this fix is only if this is happening when you close your doors. So what happens is you close your door and the air, it gets trapped inside of your, your refrigerator and it has to escape someplace. But because there's a seal in the front of the door, the only real place for it to escape out is this um, drain pipe. This drain pipe is used for an auto defrost feature so that your freezer doesn't freeze over. So what happens is it lowers the temperature slightly below freezing, then the ice melts to water. Water goes down this pipe and goes down into this drain. This is on the back of the refrigerator. All right, I've opened mine up to show you what's inside. This is a, again, a Whirlpool. I don't know if this is for everyone, but this is a common replaced part you'll see everywhere. This exact part is a newer version. The old version I think would have worked better. It was a straight pipe. This one has a trap like you see under your sink. All right, what happens is the water, the ice melts into water, it goes down this drain, and the, what's happening is this, this U part at the bottom, the trap, is being filled with water, okay? And then the water just sits there. If it had a lot of water, it would drain out, but probably the trap would still stay full, just like in your sink, which is normally to keep out sewer gas, but this doesn't have any sewer gas, so I'm not sure why they have to put this U, because this is where the problem happens. So what's happening is you close your door, you trap the air, the air goes out, this tube goes down in the water, the water's there, so it has to bubble out like you're blowing a straw into a cup of water, and it makes those noises, so you're hearing a gurgling sound. Now, if your gurgling sound is happening all the time, it might be your Freon levels, uh, somebody told me my Freon levels were going to be low, and I said that's impossible. It's a brand new fridge, you know, relatively brand new. It's not that issue. They were going to charge me for a visit. I said, let me take a look at it first. So I looked at it, looked into it, and this was my fix. So again, this gets filled with water occasionally, and I think I caused it because I, I temporarily made my freezer even colder to keep food longer. That was a big mistake because I think it produced more ice and therefore produced more water that could normally naturally evapor evaporate in this tube. So the air is trying to get out, it blows bubbles. The fix is simply to remove this drain. This is a temporary if you have an icing problem. If you don't have it, or if it normally works, it won't have that issue. Okay, so you pull off that pipe. This pipe does not attach by any screws, on mine at least. So you pull down on that and then unclip it from the drain pan. To unclip mine, you have to push it to the left and then it actually pops off. I will attempt to do this for you guys. So up top, you simply pull down, boom, it's off, see, boom. Now at the bottom, over here, you have to clip it to the left and it unhooks. There's a little, see this little hole here? That's where it clips off. Then you remove the pipe. Okay, you got the pipe out. Now when you tip it upside down, water comes out, okay? That's it. Now, I've already done this to mine before. I tried putting water back in it to re-simulate the gurgling sound, but that's basically what happened before. Water was in the pipe. It was filled in here, and then the air went, tried to go down and up the other side, and it just bubbled out and then kept this completely full of water the entire time. Again, I may have caused this by putting the freezer on super cold, trying to maintain some products longer while I was um, away and uh, it may have iced up more than usual and caused more water. Typically, I think if it was a small amount, it would evaporate eventually and at least leave a little air, and therefore it would not make the noise. But again, this lasted two years without this. So this is a fix for me. Uh, it works, and it might be temporary for you. It depends on if, if yours filled for some unknown reason like I did. Um, I now turned my cold back down a little bit so that it hasn't been doing it. But again, just drain this trap by tipping it upside down. You can run water through it. You might want to blow in this thing to make sure there's no clogs and then put it back in. I'm gonna do this off camera because it's hard to put in, but basically you click this in here, you bend the pipe up, put it around the hole, push it up. Again, there was no screws on mine to attach this. It was just freestanding. Um, but again, this should fix you for a gargling sound when you um, go ahead and you, you have water that gets trapped in here only when you're shutting the door or opening the door. Again, if it's happening all of the time, it's probably your Freon. Um, but if it happens a few seconds after you close your door, lasts a couple seconds and stops, it must. It, this trap is probably full of water. Um, also, be very careful 
uh, I have a band-aid on my thumb right now because I sliced myself on this door. It's very sharp. I'm not sure why they made this so razor sharp, but um, I sliced myself the first time I opened this up. Uh, so be very careful. Again, do not do this unless you're confident that you can go ahead and open up an appliance like this. You probably want to unplug yours. I did not unplug mine. That was probably a mistake. Uh, but you might want to unplug yours for safety reasons. Uh, but again, if you just drain this pipe and put it back on, it'll probably last you. And if you're having constant icing problems, check your temperature. Make sure you don't have it on super, super cold. Um, the more ice you produce, the defrost will produce more water. And if this fully fills up, then you're going to have this issue. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.